Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely Westlake Village, California. And yes, we've got some sunshine here in the background. I am happy about that after past few days of rain. Let's jump right into the charts as Bitcoin is creeping and crawling its way up above the box of peace and prosperity or death and despair. And what am I talking about here? We've been We've been talking about this bounce for some time now, uh, some time now, and what have we finally done? We said, hey, look, um, if Bitcoin does regain the range of 40,000, call it 41,000, we're expecting a higher low. And I want to bring up a bit of a nuanced topic here. What is a higher low? Well, it could just be a red candle like that, or it could be uh, this confirmation right here as we closed above the wick, confirming this as a low. I'll let you be the uh, deciding benefactor, the deciding beneficiary of uh, what is a higher low or not. But for me in my book, this is the confirmed higher low. Yes, this uh, that's on a candle body basis. So it depends on how you want to do it. Uh, or, or on a candle, closing candle basis versus a taking out the wick with the candle body. All right. Next up, the topic of discussion here is, are we going to make it above the box of peace and prosperity or death and despair? And why do I call it peace and prosperity? Well, above this box, if we can pretty much put a higher low, that would be uh, a bullish sign. If we get rejected here, and this is going to be right at that uh, 0.5618 area. This is where you would expect the rejection and uh, at least, very least, a little bit of a pullback. Now, when you close back below the 382, that is going to be uh, your sign of a bull trap in place. Um, if we close more specifically back below 41,200, that would be good enough to do it for me. And that would initiate targets down to this box right here. And um, I guess we'll judge it from there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be short and sweet and tight and neat here. I'm going to check out a few altcoins and check in on our sister, Ethereum Bitcoin. We did put in the higher low uh, with a strong rejection at the silver cross. Now, if we do come back and close below this level at 0.5294, which if you want to do a little mental math or a little <coughs> mental construction from our last or, or our, in my last comments about the uh, about the 382. The 618 and the 382 are the same area, just in reverse, depending upon if you do a bullish or bearish retracement. By the way, if you want to know a little bit more about how to trade um, and what I'm talking about with these fibs and moving averages, support and resistance, candles, etc., join our course at cryptcourses.com. There's a link in the description below. Uh, you can start here. I give a nice little expan explanation of what the course is. Populate. Come on. There it is. That you, you do need to flick on the volume there. Apparently, my volume is not on, um, or it's going through another speaker at the moment. But needless to say, I describe what the course is. You can sign up free for 30 days and virtually complete the course. All right, um, back onto the chart here. So more specifically, if we do end up taking out this level at not 0.5. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto. 
but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Or the 618, excuse me, I'm just gonna look. You can do a retracement based on the wicks or based on the bodies. And I think the wicks are good enough for me on this instance. And um, yeah, that would initiate, initiate. Not only would you have a lower high and a lower low, a bit of a trend reversal for Ethereum. Now, the dollar pairing on Ethereum is looking more bullish than Bitcoin. And uh, to me, it does look like, uh, well, we're going to get the leg up to the 618. As long as Bitcoin does not take it on the chin very, very hard right now. Now, on the hourly time frame, we did put in a bit of a railroad track. I don't know why they call it that, but high volume candles. That is a reversal formation alongside uh, a good sell signal and volatility beginning to increase. So, you know, not ready to call it yet, but you will be printing... Some bearish divergence right here. We've got a higher high and a lower high. Should get you a shot down of the 21 at 44,681. Now that'll be invalidated with any kind of a tick above uh, this wick right here at 45,000. So a lot in the cards, and I would have to agree with Mr. Crown's analysis that the resolution of the five day uh, volatility momentum play we've been talking about will not will not happen probably um well until the end of february um so what are we looking for again volatility to expand on the five-day time frame as well as the momentum of this indicator the stochastic if it's pointed down price is very likely coming down if it's pointed back up and we'll cross up above 45, 516, you can see that number's been coming down. So we'll, we will have a chance to do it in the next one day and seven hours. So back on ETH, I think a little bit more bounce is due there. Um, and that should help out ETH Bitcoin hold that higher low. Um, and then, you know, we're looking for a higher high. And so ETH is either going to explode right now or it's going to come back down to this box. You know, all the way in this zone at about 1885. And actually, I would move that box down. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. Again, using the Fibonacci's. The Fibonacci. Um, actually, I think I should redraw that because the not 0.5 or the 382 is uh, coming in right here. So I guess I should draw this back. and say hey that's that's the level that needs to hold specifically 1950 could we get a wick down there absolutely um but right now uh all gears are pointed to well the downside on the five day and same thing on this one volatility expansion uh is going to likely get the direction the daily that was my point the daily is still up and will remain up as long as we are above 2300 2321 got a nice little w formation uh i'd be targeting to move at least uh, to 2600 based on this as long as but you, you need a you actually need a daily closure above this level this last high volume candle um would do it for me all right that's it for that one Solana, uh, inverted head and shoulders, double shoulder, uh, head target. And Solana got shut down. What happened to Solana? Apparently the network got shut down. A lot of people are saying, hey, look, that is very, very bad uh, for Solana. I think they were down for, I don't know, 24 hours. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, when you got billions of dollars at stake... And the network shuts down. That's not good. And that's why we say, well, uh, Bitcoin is numero uno, $884 billion market cap. 
where Solana's coming in at $44 billion. Billion with a B. And notice Tether. Tether's the number three cryptocurrency, guys. I've been saying it all along. Tether is the crypto cartel. 12 employees. They run the crypto world. Something to consider. XRPP coin still hanging in there at 27 billion. Cardano, Cardano, 18 billion. Avalanche doggy coin, which I will bring up some doggy coin because I like Mr. Musk. And well, it looks like we have a bit of a break of the triangle that I was looking at. And we posted a trade in the Discord that was fairly fairly noteworthy i think it's a little more yeah there it was there it was taking the trade right there stop loss there targeting the top side of the range if you want join our discord join the trading school and uh surely um you will have access to some of these trade setups hey they don't always hit but uh i think doggy coin is uh, a fairly decent bet if you want to put some risk on, go with some doggy coins, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Ooh, Stacks. Stacks taking a big leg up here um, as Bitcoin. You know, when Bitcoin goes up, Stacks goes up. CRV, we posted this trade set up there. I do like this one because it came all the way back down to the range lows. And um, really, I think probably not much more to do, but up from here on this one. A uh, bit of a W formation, double W, closed above the middle wick. Almost, not quite. Um, any other notables on the board? Injective, I also think is interesting here as well. Sharp projection and closing back below the green 55 is not going to look good. But uh, the other one to take a look at is Casper. Mr. Casper. Something to keep your eyes upon. Has had a major leg up. And I saw an interesting tweet about this one. Um, after these long accumulations down, well, Mr. Casper likes to party to the upside. Been one of the notable gainers over the past uh, year, outperforming Bitcoin. I mean, look at this. Look at that chart. Not a bad chart, uh, if you ask me. With that said, I think I'm going to, oh, check in on Slinky Linky. So measure move still is going to be up here off this ascending triangle, long consolidation. We did said, hey, um, is you know a retest of this support level is good. It looks like we are going to get that retest and declining volatility. Does look like it's going to happen here for Mr. Linky Slinky, but ultimately this year, and I said it since the beginning of the year, just like I said it, you know, on Bitcoin. <clears throat> where do you expect those rallies to come? Well, the not 0.5 or the 618. After a macro consolidation, a bullish altcoin like this typically going to take a nice leg up into the stratosphere, and uh, that would be your targeted zone. So, um, and we haven't even hit the 382 yet, so that's why I like this one. Um, definitely to keep your eye upon. And then the other notable I'm seeing here in the charts today is Mr. Tia. Mr. Celestia, and if you didn't see the uh, video I made about what is Celestia, check that one out. It's somewhere in our videos section. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.